Okay, let's talk reloads, okay? Uh, when I say reloads, I'm talking about like a rapid or what some would call a combat reload. Um, I like to practice because a lot of times I'm concealed carrying, but this is actually what I would call a duty weapon or a weapon that I would carry on the range uh, when I'm using it outside the waistband holster. And sometimes I would carry my pouches here um, on my left-hand side. So I want to create a reload, right? So how do you set the reload up? And this is how you would do it. Um, you would have an empty magazine in the gun in the open position. So this basically means that this gun is now empty. It's a replica of how the gun should actually look when it's actually empty, right? And then you're going to have two more magazines with just one dummy round in it, okay? You don't want to put more than one because you want to be able to drop one, go through the exercise again where you're able to pull from another spot in your particular um, in your particular mag pouch, right? So when you set it up, your gun's going to be dry. You're going to have the empty magazine in, okay? When it comes to reloading your gun, I tell people, especially who are novice or beginners, I even practice this slow sometimes, is understand the concept, right? Understand where you need to be working with with the gun. A lot of people, they want to do a whole bunch of this stuff. Is it faster? Is it slower? I don't know. But for me, I have a sense of more control when I bring that gun back in to what we call our workspace, right? I have a little bit more control. I can see the gun, but I can still kind of be target focused at the same time. So the first thing is, if you're firing your gun, bang, 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 bang. And then all of a sudden it looks like this. This is a clear indicator that your gun just may be empty. Okay. So we got to perform that combat reload and it may look something like this. I'm going to go really slow through the numbers for you. So you're on target, bang, 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 right? Your gun goes empty. You're going to bring that gun here. A lot of people like to turn it over like this, but if you turn it over like this and you hit the magazine release button, you're going to have to physically strip it out right? Because it won't drop down because there's no gravity there. So, but if you did come through and you pull it back into your workspace and you just can't it, the magazine is still facing down to the ground. If you drop it, right, it should fall right out. So the goal is to drop it and not strip it. Some places you go, they'll tell you to strip the magazine out. To be honest, if you have a, a good modern gun, like a Glock or a Smith & Wesson or a SIG, the moment you hit that button, this thing should drop out. Okay. It should drop out. So, through the numbers, we're going to be here on target shooting. Bang, bang, bang. If we're going to reload, we're going to come back here. We're going to drop the magazine as we're coming back to get the other one. Okay. So we're here. Bang, bang, bang. Gun goes empty. We're going to come back. We're going to drop the magazine, right? While grabbing the new one. As we're doing that, then we're going to put that one in. Now you can hit the slide release, go forward. And now you're on target to complete your shots, okay? So it has to be simultaneously. It's really just quicker that way, right? So again, through the numbers, through the numbers, it'll look like this, okay? Bang, 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 bang. Reload, come back here. Magazine in, come back out, and now you're ready to shoot, okay? Now here's something that sometimes raises a point of contention in the firearms or the defensive tactic world of firearms, right? It's whether or not you rack the slide to let it go forward or if you hit the slide stop button to make it go forward. To be honest, based on my experience, and people can test this theory, but based on my own personal professional experience, I have found it faster for me to hit the slide stop, right? I've trained both ways, I've used both ways, but it's more, um, advantageous to me to use the slide stop to actually put the gun forward okay so what that means is if you're reloading and you put the mag in do you rack the slide and let it go forward or do you hit the stop button or the slide stop or slide release button and let it go forward that way that's up for debate to be honest with you and and i'll be honest do whatever you like. Try it out. Try both of them. Time yourself, whatever you have to do. But uh, to me, I think the hitting the slide stop is much faster for me. So I'm going to try to do this a little bit faster on this part of the video, just so you can see more of a smooth um, reload process. OK, so again, to set this up, you want to put your gun in the open position with the slide to the rear. You want to have an empty magazine and in your pouch, you want to have one dummy round magazine in each magazine. OK, uh, one dummy round in each magazine. Okay, so here we go. 
I'm on target. Bang, 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 bang. I come in. Now I'm back on target, okay? I don't know how many seconds that was, right? But I want it to be that efficient if I'm going to do it, okay? So we'll set it up one more time. Bang, 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 bang. Reload. Back on target, okay? So that's a pretty efficient, I'm not the greatest, but that's a pretty efficient reload. Um, even if I'm not challenging myself, I just wanted to do it as smooth as I can uh, so you can see what that's like. So that's an intro to, to, to reloads. I'm going to break this down maybe a little bit more in another video uh, so you can kind of see uh, this in context, right? When we talk about when should we, when should we be reloading, of course, when your gun is empty, but using it more in a defensive kind of uh, where we're using maybe something like cover and concealment, right? So um, I hope this video was a value for you. I hope that you got something out of it. Uh, so with that being said, stay safe, stay vigilant. Peace.